everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Yeah, what's up? Jack's doing a little magnet cleaning of the glass right here, and we are getting ready to finally do some renovations on the big old aqua cave tank. We haven't shown this tank in a while. For those of you that are new to our channel, um, this is the first tank we ever shared on YouTube. It's a little design that I kind of messed around with for, I don't know, about the last 40 years or so. Uh, what we did here for our little turtle, Ice Stigy, right here, uh, that's a Cherokee name for Warrior, one of our little Red Eric Sliders. She's awesome. She's in a lot of our uh, videos. Jack raised her from a tiny little baby like that in the, one of the little tanks in his room. What we did here is we took a smaller aquarium, turned it upside down, put a raft in it. Now, she had just flipped that raft over. Uh, I mentioned that in the last video that I did last week, but it was actually only yesterday because, you know, we're actually doing it today. Um, this is a raft inside this. Now, this is an upside-down aquarium inside of the larger aquarium that gives her a cave or an aqua cave, if you will, so she can go up here and chill out and sleep and still have a constant supply of air. This oxygen comes down. It's buried underneath the gravel, comes down and goes up in here. And then what, what we have here is there are two drilled holes, a hole here on this side of the aqua cave and a hole on the other side. When that air comes up into here, it... Of course, carbon dioxide is heavier than room air. So that gets pushed down to the bottom and pushed out of that hole. So there's a constant supply of room air from this little pump going in there all the time. It's really, really, really neat. And she goes in there and she takes naps and she sleeps all night in there. And she's been in there for, uh, we've had this tank together for nearly three years. We posted a video on it about two years ago. And I've had other styles of aqua caves and things like that as well now at one point in time we had a big huge penthouse tank a vacuum on top of this tank that was coming out all the way up to the ceiling and it, uh, jack called that a penthouse aquarium that was actually a 20 extra tall uh, and then we kind of changed some things around and you can look at our aquarium playlist and kind of see some of the different designs we've done with this and we put some different stuff on top and all that now what we did is you have to put a lot of weight on top of this because that oxygen causes this to float. So you gotta put some glass on top and the reason we use glass is so the light can come through and her aqua cave is bright. Now once in a great while she flips this over and we just have to reach up in there with like a, a yardstick or something and flip it back over. Rarely does that ever happen. Uh, basically she comes up into the cave, goes on the thing and goes off the other side or vice versa. And she's very familiar with it. And like I said, she's been living in here for three years, doing very well. She likes it very much. However, you can see right here, we finally got some new shelves. Now, if you look real closely here, these first few panes of glass are, are shelves that are almost exactly the same size as the Aqua Cave there. We found those on Amazon from a company that makes shelves. And we wanted to get more so we could take some of these extra weights off and have it be a little bit more streamlined and look nice and things like that. But because of everything that happened with the new virus and everything, they weren't available. Um, these are also kind of pricey. So what we did is we went on a waiting list, just like we did for these other ones, at people that return these shelves. So normally they would be about like $40 or $50, but you can get them for like $20 or $25 from returns. So say people buy these glass shelves and they don't like them, they return them. You get like an open box thing, and you can wait on a waiting list. And you can do a lot of things like that on Amazon. It's actually pretty cool. So these, all of these weighted shelves on top here are only going to end up costing us about six, uh, about 100 bucks, 20 bucks each for six of them, 100, 120 bucks, as opposed to several hundred dollars, which really isn't that much. I mean, if you consider a massive tank like this, you know, to, in order to make such a cool design, it's really not that much money to spend. Most of these aquariums, these smaller aquariums, cost 100, 200 dollars anyway. So anyway, she's able to still fit in here. She does really well in here. We're going to be taking this apart, renovating it, taking the water down we're going to clean this we're going to put some extra pieces of glass to raise this up this stuff's going to be off the top there's going to be just six main uh, streamlined pieces and we're going to move some of this bamboo from this side to that side because it's growing under under gravel here you can see some of this is starting to actually grow branches under under water coming up out of the gravel so we're going to move some of that around raise this up and uh, yes, we do have these under gravel lights in here as well. And we've done quite a few videos of, on those. And we will do, we will put some links in the description of how we did those under gravel lights in this big tank. Very similar to a lot of the ones we've done in our, in our other tanks. But anyway, guys, we're going to get this stuff off the top. 
We're going to work on it, and we'll kind of give you a little tidbits along the way as what we're doing and show you the end product. Okay, so first thing we're doing, we got the siphon going. We're going to take some of this water down. Jack's cleaning the glass while I'm doing that. I'm getting some of this stuff off of the top. I take the old fish guy down here. I'm going to clean him off. This is just a well-deserved bit of maintenance that has been has to is we are way behind on these two little bromelades we're doing okay a little bit neglected up there kind of forget about them sometimes um i pulled out a bunch of the little dead leaves watered them up they're they're great little plants they do really good up there so cleaned them off a little dusted them gave them some water i gotta try to remember to keep up with water in those guys but they look really good got those from from marks for like five bucks each they're looking great so now I'm going to take this uh, top off here, part of this guy, and we're going to move some of this bamboo. Okay, so you can see these filters are working awesome. We just did a video about a month ago on these filters, these AquaClear 110s. These things are awesome. They have lasted us 24 years, and they rock. And basically, we did a video. We'll put a link in the description as well. And you can see the wires kind of coming down here right to the top of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut this off and stop siphoning. We're going to take all this stuff off. And we're going to put these awesome new shelves on. So this will be a little bit more mainstream and kind of more attractive. Basically, they're, they're going to weight it down, but they're going to let the light through. And I may um, put a magnet on this and clean it off as well and flip this over for her and all that. We had these little small ones because... We had these arms here, and I may actually, while I'm at it, take some of these and slide one or two more in there to raise this up, because since this stuff's all gonna be off the top, and these guys are getting bigger, as you can see, I mean, they have no problem. They turn sideways and go under here all day long. They don't seem to mind it, actually. Um, but I might raise it up one or two more of these blocks and then get rid of all this, so the whole thing will be maybe an inch taller, but again, a lot more attractive and cool looking and uh, all that. Okay, so we added another plate of glass here, raised it up a little more. I may add one more. We got all this stuff off the top. So we're going to put those new plates of glass up there, those new shelves. I'm going to flip this. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to put a tube up inside of here. And what that's going to do is that's going to let that air out of there. And that little guy right there is going to clean that area that has air in it. And we've done multiple videos on this. So again, if you're seeing this tank for the first time, you might have a lot of questions, refer to our other videos. Just go to our aquarium playlist and look at anything that has to do with the aqua cave. We answer all the questions in there about how we design this and everything. I've been messing around with this stuff for a long time, so that'll answer most of your questions. But we're gonna flip this thing right now and get some more of these on there and maybe raise this up one more, and then we're gonna move some of this bamboo. Okay guys, so that's the first one of the new three. And one of the things you'll notice is it seems like it slides around. What'll actually happen when you press down on this with these glass and you give it a little lift, it'll actually form like a vacuum and they'll kind of stick together. It's kind of weird, they're actually really hard to get apart when, once they're underwater. So we raise this up two, two more steps that's gonna clear more room under here so they can go up into the cave and we're gonna put two more pieces of glass on the top. That should be more than enough weight. Okay guys, so we're coming right along. You can see the, uh, the new glass is in. These are raised up two more. And again, the, the way that these light up from the bottom is we just, we just tape LEDs to the bottom of the tank. Just go under here, you just tape them up there. We're gonna be adjusting some of those as well. But yeah, so those light up at night when the big lights are off and then we have some underneath these these big goldfish bowls here where the bamboo goes into. And again, we, we've done whole videos on that and we'll have it in the description. So this looks much better now. Um, the raft is the right way around. Um, the new glass is on top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tube, I'm gonna reach around in here and stick it up in here. And what's gonna happen is that is gonna take that air out of there. The pressure of this water is gonna push the air out of the, through this tube into the room that we're standing in. I, and again, I know it can sometimes sound confusing, but it's, it's really just a matter of pressure. It's really not that complicated. So 
by doing that, the water's gonna kinda come up and clean that. Plus, this big guy right here, this big gal right here, and that big guy, they're gonna go up in there immediately, and they're gonna hit these areas while we're working on the bamboo and doing some other stuff. They're gonna hit these areas that are not underwater now, but will be as soon as I put this tube in there. And I'll have Jack uh, record a little bit while I do that, just to show you how fast that gets pushed out of there. All right, so here's what happens. Look at this, guys. See how that's kind of spurting out of there? You can see when I put a little water on it. Go ahead and look at the aqua cave. All I did was stick this tube up or in underneath here into here. And now what I had to do is I had to blow on it a little bit to blow the water out of it. As soon as it was open to air and I blew the water out of it, the pressure from the water, as you can see, and you can actually hear it. You can hear it kind of rushing out of here. That air now is going to get pushed out and that water is going to fill it up. Now I'm not turning off the pump. The reason is, is because those plecos are going to go up here so fast, they're going to say, hey, there's a new surface. And they're going to sit there and they're going to clean that all off. Now, even if I don't get it all the way to the top, they will actually come out of the water a little bit. And they will go up on the top. And I, and I we've had videos where we showed that before. They'll come out of the water a centimeter or so, and they will clean the whole top of that aqua cave. Whoops. <laughs> pair of fish were getting me. Look at them. Hey, they grab my hand, and but they don't. They have the funniest, cute little mouths. It's almost like little kisses. But anyway, so anyway, we're gonna take that out while we're messing around with the bamboo and that. They're gonna clean the aqua cave. Now we don't have to do anything because that air in the middle here. See how that's still going? That's gonna take about eh, 15, 20 minutes, and that's gonna refill that aqua cave, and it's going to push that water back down and fill it with air. But in this set, 15 or 20 minutes it takes to do that, those guys are gonna clean that all off. And again, we've done a lot of videos on that. We'll put them in the description. All right, so we got the bamboo, four over here now, four over there, repositioned, nice and even. The reason that we wanted to make some room is, again, they're sprouting these little branches out of the bottom. It's crazy, never seen anything like it. So we moved them up, maybe some more of them will start to. We got one over there, we got one over here. Never seen anything like that. We kind of centered those because I Stigy sometimes has, she gets down in there, maybe some food goes down in there. She gets down in there and pushes that whole thing over, believe it or not. So we got the big rock in the back, got that repositioned, piece of driftwood in the back, lifted this up a couple inch, a couple of, about, a, uh, about an inch, because these are a half inch each, put two of them on there. So that went up about an inch, so that's nice. These guys are like, sweet, dude. And this already got refilled, and you can see he's in there. He cleaned. He went up there on a glide. Look how clean that aqua cave is. Just in a couple minutes that we were doing this other stuff with the bamboo, as this was filling back up with air and coming back down, he went up here and cleaned all this glass. Way to go, buddy. So we really don't have to take it all apart. Look at that light coming through the top because, because it's all glass. So that light comes down through, comes into the aqua cave. Look how bright her cave is. Isn't that cool? So the filters are rocking. Everything's going good. The cave is up. We're gonna fill it up with water. We're gonna position these lights a little bit over. So again, here's these under gravel lights. We're just moving them over, scooting them over a little bit because some algae tends to grow. And if we kind of move them over a little bit, you'll be able to see them better. And then we're gonna fill this thing back up and let it rock. We're just gonna leave that one piece of driftwood in the back just so the plecos can eat it and stuff like that. All right, so we got all the other glass pieces under here. Now, in case, again, if you've never seen the other videos about this, these were pieces of glass that we had cut and made from remnants of a glass shop that, that was by us called BK Glass. Awesome, awesome place, super great place. And they made us a ton of them. And they only charged us like, I wanna say a couple bucks a piece. And basically what we did is we said, hey, if you got a bunch of remnants left over, can you just start trimming them around the outside and cut them to the size we need? And he just kinda of started working on them a little bit at a time. And after he got about 20 or 30 of them, uh, I went up there and I paid him for them. And so, you know, we used them as stilts for the aqua cave here. We're going to keep some of these old ones because when we used to have the penthouse on the top, we used some as stilts for the top part. And since we're not doing that now, we don't want to have a penthouse because we're going to, we're doing some other stuff. Uh, we're going to keep them, probably use them for another project sometime. But here's the lights real quick. Very, very simple system, guys. Very similar to the lights we used on the puffer tank 
If you haven't seen how we made that video, look that up. It's really good. These are simple. They all link together. They all uh, link to one remote, and you just tape them to the bottom of the glass. And when you have these big vases or cylinders like this, then the light just shines up through. And you can see how that comes through the bottom. And of course, they can change colors. And at night, when the big lights are off on the top, it really kind of just glows throughout the tank. And really, 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 really cool. So we'll kind of show you that tonight too, when the lights get off, just to kind of show you. We just kind of retape them once in a while to make sure they're all staying. But yeah, it seems kind of crazy under here, but it's actually pretty organized and uh, very inexpensive. Those are only about, um, I want to say I got them for 10 bucks a pop. So for 40 bucks, we put all these under gravel lights on here. And that's pretty cool. Got those on Lowe's.com. Okay. Okay, we're filling this big mamma jamma back up. Everybody's always happy. Kind of wasn't really necessarily due for a water change, but since we were doing this, you can see this looks a lot nicer here. We're going to watch this water come up here. Just kind of threw that one piece of driftwood in the back. They just kind of kicked that around in the back. Ice Stingy kind of plays with it with the big plecos. These are centered better. Plants are better. There's big lava rocks we keep in the back. They like to hide in there and stuff. And, uh... Jack clean the glass. We're going to clean the outside of glass when we get done with everything. I'm going to get the plants and everything back up here now. She's checking out the new redecorating. So here's what we did, guys. We did all that, and then we had this big rectangle vase or vase. And what we decided, if you've heard us mention in, in past videos, we're going to pop this baby right on top of this big aqua cave for a few weeks. Because, as we mentioned, we had this one big sailfin pleco. We believe he is a male. This big old lady right there, wow, look, she's got her sail up. We rescued her from the Ohio Fish Rescue. Oh, I see you got him over. He's checking it out. I don't think she can fit. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's too wide. She's too big. She's just going to check it out. And that's kind of the whole point. You've probably seen pleco caves before, little caves that plecos can go in. Well, these plecos are huge. And we rescued, like I said, this young lady from the Ohio Fish Rescue. Some, someone got her. We did a video on that. Again, we will put that link in the description. They do seem to kind of ch play chase once in a while. Of course, we have this little albino. Not sure if it's a male or female yet. All sailfin plecos. She is big. So we decided to give her a huge pleco cave. We're going to see if they will go in there, and we're going to see if they breed. We don't know if they're going to like the fact that it's glass or not. We kind of dig the idea of it being glass because then we get to see what's going on. Um, fish don't really see glass the same way we do. They can see it. They might still see it as protection. They might not. They might not like that it's light. We don't know, but we thought we'd give it a try because wouldn't it be awesome if she goes in there, lays a bunch of eggs, and, of course, the male would guard them. That way it's protection, but we can still see them. Yeah, how cool would that be? Never tried anything like that before, but we figured, hey, it's worth a shot. If it doesn't work, all I got to do is open the top and take that baby right off. No big deal, but we thought it'd be worth a shot. So anyway, we got the six new pieces, well, three were old, three new pieces of glass, more than enough weight to hold that aqua cave down. The aqua cave's clean, turn the tr uh, thing back over. Everything's looking good. It's almost filled back up. Bamboo's repositioned, growing awesome. Lifted the aqua cave a couple inches. Got the bromelades trimmed up and everything. Everything's looking good. Now all we gotta do is buff this glass out and get it nice and clean. All right, guys, so, uh, I mean, honestly, that was a much long-awaited, well-deserved update on this tank. Uh, we've just been neglecting it for a long time, kind of working on Jack's tanks and stuff. This is an awesome, awesome towel, by the way. We're gonna give a shout out to Joseph's Tropical Tanks. Sorry. This is a really, really cool towel he actually sent us. Uh, he's also going to be in our next shout-out video because he sent us a, cu a couple other things. Really, really cool. Great channel. Does a lot of great aquariums. So many awesome aquarium fish tubers and everything like that. We'll put a link in the description. And he sent us a special little aquarium towel. It's like all polyester. It's real good for buffing out the glass and all that. And so Jack's doing the final touches here on the aquarium, kind of rubbing out all the watermarks and stuff like that. Really, really nice towel. Really, really nice channel. Really, really nice guy. So check him out. But uh, this, this big pleco's already been in here a couple times. She goes in there, checks it out, and backed up. So 
hey, we're not counting on anything at all happening with these plecos, but if it does, it would be totally awesome, wouldn't it, dude? Yeah. I mean, honestly, they are so cool, and we'd love to breed them. Um, we'll see what happens. I We have no idea. We'll do an update in a few weeks. We're also just going to do an update on this whole tank. We're adding more lights to it. In addition to the top lights, and that, this big bright light that kind of blinds everybody in the middle, that's the UV light. So anytime I Stitchy's hanging out up here at the top, eating or swimming, she gets UV. Um, she obviously doesn't get it in her cave, but she dries out in her cave. Plus, we take her out. We take her out, and a lot of times in the summer, we take her out outside and everything like that. But uh, again, she's been here for like three years. She's checking out the cave, but again, she can't fit in there. She's just kind of looking at it. But the uh, plecos have gone in there. And uh, they're checking it out, so we'll see. Cross, we're going to cross our fingers. This would be really neat if we could. I mean, I'm going to imagine a female pleco like this could lay, who knows, thousands of eggs or something. So we'll see. This would be pretty exciting they if it happens. Do. I mean, sometimes little babies lay hundreds of them, you know? Yep. The little tiny bristle nose and that. So, anyway, it's coming along good. Everything's looking good. We're going to do an update on some new lights, again, that we're adding. So we got the top lights. we got the undergravel lights. We're going to be doing another video adding more lights, similar to one of the lights we used to have on this tank. But we're going to add more. And then we're going to do a whole video on just the lights, just all the lighting and stuff. So, uh, again, check out Joseph's Tropical Tank. Really awesome. Isn't that a great towel? Yes, I love it. So very, very nice of him to send. We'll do an update on how everything's doing on this tank and an update on the lights pretty soon. We will see you next time, guys. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos. And uh, always check out the link if you want to buy us a cup of coffee. It's always fun too, right, kiddo? Yes. We use it for all kind of stuff, but it's just called buy us a cup of coffee. Check out that link if you haven't. We use it for lots of great stuff, supplies, and everything that we're doing. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Finally fixed your cave up, huh? She could fit under there a lot easier, huh? Shoking the parrots. Look at all those clowns. Look at all those clowns. They just love being underneath that cave. <laughs>